<clears throat> my way for a few weeks and code has basically created a nuclear power plant. <laughs> and so has CWG. Has everybody got a nuclear power plant now? Nope. Rob still has mushrooms. Hell still has rainbows. And I still have whatever this is. <laughs> My name is Fuzzy Cub, and welcome back, finally, to Fault Hunters SMP. So, today I finally want to make the Terra Shutterer. Unfortunately, I am very low on Volterite. And when I say very low on Volterite, I mean I have none left. So I am waiting for Code or CWG to come on. And I want to trade them for some Volterite. I think I need 36 Volterite. And I have 18 as far as I can remember. So, um, yeah. Just wait here. And through the magic of editing... That saved us a lot of time. Now we're back to making the Terra Shutterer. Where is it gone there? So for the Terra Shutterer, we need a mana tablet. We have remote twig. We can get. We need 18, 19, 20 Terra Steel ingots, which we're actually almost there. Why did I think we needed like 36? I'm really bad at math. Which means we only need two more Terra Steel. Uh, okay, we can do this. We can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Essence back out. One, two, three, four, five, six. But that is all. Of the Terra Steel, we needed Hog and Dreamwood Twig, which comes from Dreamwood Log, which comes from Lingwood and a perfect something or other. There and there. Go. I'm not sure if it's two or three of these. Yeah, two. I think we have enough for the Terra Shatterer now. Let's see, can we make a pog? No, we are missing on Swede. You know what that means? Time to fortune all of our ores. Yo, let us grab our fortune pickaxe and head outside where I have all of my ores Stacked in neat little piles. Little compared to CWG, but for me, that's a lot of ores. Fortune on, fortune engaged. Go! Nom 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 nom. Nice. Okay, on to these guys. Boop. 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 And finally, a boop. Too bad at all. A bit low on the Ashium, but it'll get us the pog we need. Alright, so back to our Botania setup. We go Botania. We put in all of the pogors. Make it the pog. On a pog. And then I think. We can make the Terra Shatterer. And there we go. Terra Shatterer. Now this thing is going to completely change how we get Ogors. This thing plows through any material, except wood apparently. But in order to do that, we need to power this guy up. Now if you see at the moment, it is a D rank. And the way you power up the Terra Shatterer is by throwing it in a mana pool and letting it absorb all of the mana, and I mean all of the mana. It takes an awful lot of mana 
So uh, let's let's uh, take off our magnetization ring and uh, see what this guy can do. There we go. Okay, so after about two minutes, let's see how far this thing has come. B. Wow. So the best version of this is the SS rank, and that is, I believe, it mines a 9x9 nine nine almost instantly. But I think I'll be content with the S rank, which is a 7x7, seven seven, if I'm remembering that correctly. But I think after you get to A rank, it takes quite a long time for it to level up to the B rank, or to the S rank. So I'm just gonna leave it in the mana pool until it does. I'm also not sure if this thing despawns, so I'm going to pick it up every four minutes, and at least then I'll be able to check the, uh, the level it's at at any given time. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do this, so I'll, I'll get back to you when either the mana pools are drained or it's an S rank. So, let's check after 15 minutes. Please be S tier. Please be S tier. It is A tier. But if you see up at the very top of the little black box, you can see a blue, pinky, purpley, colorful, shiny bar. And you can see that it's a about one eighth of the way to S tier, so I'm thinking maybe another 25, 30 minutes and we'll we'll have it up to S tier. Back in the bath you go. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to get my wood farm uh, connected up to a smelter and I want to get it by a modular rotors into these things here so that I can have a constant source of mana. What wood farm you say? Well, I haven't just been gone. I have been playing Vault Hunters quite a lot over the last few weeks. I just don't have very much time to record. And with Olympus Craft, I, I kind of prioritize starting off Olympus Craft over Vault Hunters. But I have had the Vault Hunters itch over the last few days, so I'm going to make an episode. Obviously, because you're watching this now, but just shush. So I made a wood farm and it is Uva. Yeah. Now I will endeavor to explain it to you. Oh, guys, we have a thermo generator that's being powered by a block of blazing crystal and a sink to keep the water going. We have a small tree cutter here that cuts down the oak tree. The oak tree can only grow a certain height because I have that block above it. Because um, the first time I did it, the tree kind of grew and uh, deleted quite a lot of these blocks. I have, oop, I have these guys set to alternate pulsing. So that guy has bone meal. So I'll put more in, and that guy has saplings. So they pulse, 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 and this guy, with a couple of upgrades, he sends this stuff from the tree to a drawer controller, which sends all the stuff into drawers. Are you following me so far? Because I was confused when I was building this. I also have, if you look under there, a modular router pulling out all the saplings and pushing them into this thing. Make sure that it's always full with saplings. I do need to work out a way to have automatic bone meal because at the moment I'm just doing it manually and it's 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 a little bit annoying. Anywho, I have a ender hopper on top of this. I have no idea where I got it. I'm just going to assume that hell broke one at one stage and it was just in my inventory anyway it's lucky i did because um that thing is collecting everything in a four block radius around it and putting it into this router which uh, sends everything here now the next thing i need to do i need to get this wood into a smelter and into a modular router over there and then i need to put a round robin card into the modular router and send alternate pieces of coal into each of these four barrels. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that at the moment, but I have a feeling I'm going to do it with my newly unlocked mechanism mod. That's right, I have grinded and grinded and grinded and I have finally unlocked mechanism because I really want the atomic disassembler, <laughs> but also it's, it's kind of handy to melt things with power rather than coal. 
So yeah, we, we have a lot of work ahead of us to figure out how we're gonna get this automatic tree farm set up. Make it into automatic charcoal to make it into automatic mana. Let's put our thinking pirate cap on. Zoop. So I have done a wee bit of testing with this mod called Dimensional Chess, and I've figured out that I can use this for my Batania setup. So what I will do is I will use the modular rooters to put charcoal into this chest. It is my chest and it's set on frequency one. I can set all the other chests on frequency one as well. And they should equally drop everything. Nice. So yeah, I'm glad I uh, did a little bit of testing on my creative area and um, didn't just unlock the mod and it didn't work. So let's get back to the server and do this thing. We interrupt this video for some co-op runs. Because we gotta get more vault diamonds. There we go. Hello. Ah, there he is. Um, I need to get better. It's been a hot minute since I've played. Uh-huh. I need, I need your guidance and wisdom on skill points and stuff. Oh, also, skill I, points. I need to do a little bit of mukbang as well, actually. Oh. I only well, have uh, 400 how many burgers. skill points do you have to spend? Uh, I'll tell you in about four seconds. <laughs> okay. When I said he's eating, he's eating burgers. Fuzzy mukbang compilation. Delicious. Level one twenty nine. Let's go. Nope. I don't have that many burgers. I only had like four hundred. But I really need yeah. to get up to 75 quite quick. Only 400 burgers. <laughs> Jesus God. CWG. <laughs> Why does CWG stand for like so much good stuff? People are always finding new things. Oh, 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 oh no. Where are you at? 66.9999999. Ooh, just open some relic booster packs. I don't have relic booster packs. Hold on. Let me check. Come on. Come on! No! Yay! Nice. Just All about. Right. And I got a Twitch you got, emote. You got a Twitch emote. You have just normal Rampage, right? Yes. Oh, that's right. I'm going to uh, get the... Flask of Regurts. Yeah, for Rampage, yes. I have so many nice. Flask of Regret. Do you have one? Oh. Rampage there you gone. Go. Okay, cool. Do you have... You got the Warrior Ghost Walk? Uh, level 2 Ghost Walk, I haven't specialized yet. Ah. Uh, so, Warrior I was looking at seems to be the best one. But yeah, it needs to be used like, really quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, you get three seconds, but the first hits you get on the boss are, like, strong. Yeah, so let's go Warrior Specialization. I have level 4 Rampage Normal. I have nice. fully execute. Now, do you use... Dash recharge or I do oh, oh. I do use dash recharge, but I'm okay. gonna gonna keep it until I get ward. Okay, okay, that's smart. Smart choice. Stay okay. with the curb. So I can go to my strength three, and oh, I only have five left. But I I can't go any higher because of my level. Ah, well, how many do you have in speed? Uh, two, and I can update it once again. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Well, feed's it's... always good. Yeah, and I have one more skill point, which I will keep for future. Okay. I think I'm ready to die. I meant run a bolt. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, enter. And we're in. Oh, a horde. Oh, Let's go. Nice. Did I a get horde. lucky for once? <laughs> we got lucky. Okay, and it's I'll... not a scavenger vault. Let's go. Yeah. I hate scavenger vaults. Yeah. <laughs> or oh let's God. go mine some gilded chests, chat. Last graphics is so much better. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I'm realizing that was a <laughs> early on mistake to have it on fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Uh, but I am fabulous. Can't wait to use it. Y'all watch, I think it was two episodes ago. You could watch us tear apart a mine room with a terror shatter. It's pretty satisfying. Every You're shadow, I go burr. Oh, I, I got go two burr. stacked chests on top of each other. That's You'll weird. love to see it. This room is filled with chests. Yeah, this one I'm in right now is actually really good as well. 
poison trap. Explosion trap. Trap trap. All the traps. Trap trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Nice. Obelai number three. Dude, Horde is dope, yo. There's so many. This is a good one. Alright. Time to rampage! Summon the turtles. <laughs> Summon the turtles. Summon the turtles. Turtles? Yeah, every Summon time he says the turtles, all I can hear is turtles. Summon the turtles. Nice. We cleared them out nice and quick. We do so much damage with the smite seven. Ah, oh, I found the final obelisk in an aquarium room. That's like the oh, perfect nice. place to fight it. That yeah, that's pretty good. Set a hoy point. Abolai and share it in the chat. We can come back here with seven minutes left. Nice. Oh, my magnet's dead. Uh. My magnet's dead. Only you had Batania. Batania! If only I yeah. had. Imagine Batania. not having the Batania magnet. Like Obo. Yeah. Ah, it took one away from my donut. Dang it. I don't want to do that favor. Uh. Uh, oh god, I'm turning into a dad joke person. Uh, don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it. We finally reached that age. I am in the obelisk room. Oh, that was great. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm 500 blocks away. I got some running to do. 50 block. I'm literally right beside it, so yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to go back while I'm waiting. Ouch. Alright, I'm on my way. <laughs> Alright, we're going to just take a sliver. We're all going to execute at the same time. It's going to be ready. Okay. Ready? Rampage ready? All right, ready? Execute now! Hit him! <laughs> <laughs> it's still loud. I I, still loud. Still I didn't, very loud. I didn't even activate any of my abilities other than execute. <laughs> that was so I got good. The execute and uh, rampage. So. I got one boss boss crate. Triple execute, OP. So, as usual, we had lots of shenanigans, giggles and laughs in those vaults, but back to work for this bear. We have to unlock dimensional chests, and we have to get our Britannia setup done. So, let's start by unlocking... Where are you? If I was a chest mod, where would I be? There you are. Okay, so we unlock this guy, then we look up dimensional chest. So this guy, I need one dimensional wall, one perfect wood tie, or iron. Oh, these are expensive. Okay, I'm just gonna craft up five of them and cry in a corner while all my stuff is being depleted. Okay, so here we are back at the tree farm. I have made my dimensional chests and I have a couple of stuff. That I either got from a mod box or a treasure room or something, but I managed to get an emerald furnace. Maybe it was from hell. I'm not sure. Um, I should have a few pipes. I have the configurator somewhere. I'll find it soon. But what I want to do now. Well, first of all, I want to fill this guy up with bone meal. I would like to dig a small hole here. Now this ain't gonna be pretty. Okay, so let me think. I want this. There we go. I have to get my configurator. I get my configurator and I turn it to items. I undo that guy. There we go. This would go into the Emerald Furnace. Okay. And then this guy would go into this side of the furnace. Okay, let's start that again. You go in there. I turn you off. Turn you to pull. Uh, you to pull. Probably have to go in the back there. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. 
Yes, guys, I'm just making this up as I go along. Just bear with me. I think as long as I can keep this guy filled up with bone meal, it will keep running. Bear with me, bear with me. This dimensional chest, claimed as my own frequency one. I can put a another basic pipe in here. Set that one to full. That's pulling out charcoal. Nice. Put that in there. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. And then replace these. with a dimensional chest claimed on my name and dimension one. There we go. And if I get away from here, I can just take off my magnet. And there we go. He's not working. Nice. I did it. All I need to do is replace all of these chests with a dimensional chest to myself, set on frequency one, and it'll work. Nice. So that's our system working. As long as we have sticks and oak logs going in there, our Batania setup will constantly be producing mana. Assuming it's uh, chunk loaded. Next episode, we'll try and come up with some smart, or maybe not so smart, way of getting unlimited bone meal. But for now, I have been Fuzzy Cub, this has been Vault Hunters, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.